What's up guys? I have found a very unique drone. I know this looks like a baseball with holes, but it's a drone. Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. Popeye and Amelia are hanging out inside. We're the RC Sailors. Welcome to our RC family. Today we're going to fly this ball drone for you. Recently on the channel, maybe a couple weeks ago, we did a ball drone. We kind of made fun of it. We rolled it out and it had Abby was wearing this power glove to fly the thing and it was total and complete garbage. In fact, some of you even <laughs> canceled some orders. Some other person said it was a good drone and you told me you canceled your order. It was a very smart move. I think if you want to buy this ball type drone, this is the setup you're going to want because it comes with a dedicated transmitter, not a power glove. Let's take a look at the drone first, but I do want to show you something really cool on the transmitter. Normally I'm now doing this stuff at the end of the video, but this is such a unique little thing that I want you to see what we're actually getting into. So it is a folding arm drone. When it unfolds, it kind of looks like one of those little tower drones that we've seen on the channel before, kind of. It's really a wild shaped drone. I mean, that's something from a sci-fi movie that we would have seen on TV, you know, a while ago. This really just took some imagination to get something like that. We've got a camera down here on the bottom of that little tower too, and lights. It really looks like a UFO, and I just really commend the designer of this drone because it's so unique. I know this is probably a knockoff of a knockoff of a copy of a knockoff, but whoever designed this thing really deserves some credit because that's very cool. Battery goes on the bottom. It is removable, the 400 milliamp LiPo battery. Very cool drone, very cool drone. The transmitter, the only reason I want to point it out is because of the unique phone holding system. I've never seen anything like this. The transmitter itself is actually great. It feels a lot like a PlayStation controller. It's really, really nice with the shoulder buttons and stuff, but I wanted to show you the design and layout of this because I've always gone on and on about the chip clip method and how awesome it is, and it truly is, but this is a good one. It works. There's no signs of a mount a mounting system on the transmitter itself because this just loops around the bottom. Hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing here. That comes up to the top. There's this little lip of plastic here and then it just needs you to lower that and push this up and it locks in place. And that is extremely sturdy. I mean, that is insanely Does my phone awesome. Fit? Let's find out. I just, I love that system. I think we'll we could see, up, yeah. yeah, we could, see, I'd love to see more of that. And Abby's iPhone 6S Plus in an OtterBox Defender case fits in here. And it seems to hold it pretty well. So, hey, two big thumbs up for the design of that too. I hope this drone flies and flies well because I'd love to recommend it to you guys. But I can't do that just yet until we've flown it. So, tall, furry, handsome. I don't know how accurate that is, but I do like this drone so far. Let's put it in the air. I'd like to go on record here by saying I don't expect this drone to outperform most other drones that we've seen on the channel, and I definitely don't expect the camera to be anything to write home about, but it should be a fun $40 toy. So both sticks go down and out to start the motors. At least it did this a second ago. Yep, there they go. We're gonna give it a little throttle up. We should have a screen recording for you guys, and it should be, uh, saving within the app. So it's not going to fight the breeze. We do have some wind, but this is an altitude hold drone. So got to see the neighbor there. That's Tom and Shady, if you see the little dog. And check out our roses. They have just boom, like overnight. They look good, don't they? They need to be trimmed some. But yeah, wow, the giant. roses some of them look are giant right now. Good. Yeah, that's my next project after we get the front yard done. Well, I'm going to point the drone toward the roses a little bit and yeah hey I mean it is not an amazing camera quality but it's definitely I can see what I'm looking at I know that's the roses uh, but you see how it's a wide angle kind of a shot mm -hmm. it's almost like a stretched wide angle very kind of good to look at for this kind of a view for the roses but not a great shot to fly FPV maybe we back up and get kind of a wider shot let's try that so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just fly away and try to get a shot of me and you. Which is doable now that we're getting a little bit of distance. There's us. Yay, us. Altitude hold works okay, but it's dropping down some on its own. This is a freshly charged battery, so I find that very interesting that it's doing that. I don't know why it's dropping down like that. 
Uh, now we've got shoulder buttons, and, and, and ironically, they're labeled R1, R2, L1, L2. And if you have any, if there's any PlayStation gamers out there, you'll know that that's exactly what they label them on the PlayStation controller. This feels so much like a PlayStation controller, and I like that because I play games, and it's nice to have a controller that you're used to from games, and then you go to fly your drone, and hey, it's the same exact controller. I actually really like that a lot. So let's hit R1 and see what that does. That was a return to home. So what I'm gonna do is fly out here, kind of face the drone away from us at that angle, and I'm gonna hit R1. And it should, yeah, it's, see how it's kind of going toward that tree? To oh, hit no, the tree. To hit the tree. Uh, <laughs> that never works very well on these toy grade drones. I didn't expect it to, but sometimes we like to test those things. Let's see if, I'll bet you R2 is gonna be, hmm, if, I had to, if I had to guess, I'd say it'll be a flip, if it can flip. I'll be amazed if this can flip. Hmm. I'm holding it. I think that's a headless mode. Okay. So when I didn't hit anything, it was still it was kind of drifting off to the left. Let's try L1. Let's see, I'll bet that's rates. Hmm, that shot off to the left when I hit L1. Are they both returned to home, you think? Now that's definitely headless mode, L1 is. Oh boy. <laughs> and L2 is rates, so I needed to increase the rates anyway to fight this wind some. Has three rates, let's do a fast yaw spin in the third rate. It's pretty fast, it's not one of those crazy fast spinning things, but if you look at the FPV screen, you'd get very dizzy like that, so. I think I like rate one the best for this little drone because it's so, heavy on the bottom like a pendulum and if you want a nice smooth shot with that camera you want to keep it in rate one but rate two is good to fight the wind so it's a very capable uh, flyer fighting the wind pretty well I think it does a good job but the camera quality you know I mean for a toy for $40 toy drone that's pretty good we didn't used to see this good of a camera on toy grade drones it just continues to get better and better and really, really pretty amazing. Oh, look, it's dropping. I think that's the end of our battery. Well, that was a four minute, 45 second flight, roughly. That's what the time said on the app in Abby's phone. So we know that it's not gonna fly much longer than five minutes if you're lucky. And in the drone world in today's market, that's a really short flight time. So I can't wholeheartedly tell you that that's a good flight time because it's not. Now, the only good news is it is not a proprietary battery. It's a very universal battery. I think it's a Molex connector. I'll get a close shot for you guys. It's actually very hot too. So this battery has been working very hard because of the odd shape of the drone. It's not very energy efficient at all. Do you see the battery connector? Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that if you like the style, the shape of this drone, if you started watching this video and thought, Oh, that is a cool looking drone. I've never seen anything like that. And what, it's only like 40 bucks? Well, then this is for you because it flew well. I think it performed just fine, honestly. It just has a fairly short flight time and you're not gonna love that camera quality. There's a black version, I think, and this white and gold version. And remember, it folds down into that little ball, which is pretty cool. Uh, and I love the transmitter and even more than the transmitter, I like that phone mounting system. It works really, really well. I'd like, I'd like to see more of that. That's very cool. And I'm very okay with flying on a knockoff PlayStation controller. They, it's a little different, but it really feels like PlayStation a lot. Very cool. I think that if you're in the market for a drone, this might be your first drone and you've stumbled across my video, this probably wouldn't be an amazing first drone because it's just not, it's not a really good idea of what drones can do and are capable of. This one is just a very unique drone. If you're trying to widen your collection and have something to show off to your drone friends, your other RC buddies, this would be a cool one to collect and pick up and show it to them the next time you're hanging out because you're gonna pull this out, this ball, and you'll say, okay, I've got my new drone, let's fly. And I think that's just a really cool head turner. So. Overall, it does get two big thumbs up from me with just a few small flaws holding it back from being a perfect drone. If you're interested in this drone, I'll have it linked in the description box below. I'll also pin a comment to the top of our comments section with a link to the best price available on this guy. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!